Well, back in Alice. And we're going to take a little ride and see if something's already out that we've been waiting for. Oh, well, hello there, friends and family. As you can see, I'm in my gardening duds. And I just finished up with the evening water. And I'm sort of curious. So I thought I'd take a ride and see if something's already been put out. It's getting that time of year that they start putting them out. And I'm sort of anxious to get a jump on it this year. And I'm going to start trying to get in as early as I can on certain things. Can you guess what we're going to be looking for? Well, if you do, you can always put it down in the comments below the video. So, hey, like always, you're welcome to come along. Just remember to jump in. No bicker and fighting. Buckle up. And as always, there's plenty of room in the rumble seat, a.k.a. the trunk. So come along. Let's take a ride in my little small town and see if what I'm craving is already out. Y'all all buckled up? No bicker and fighting now. And hey, we just had a little uh, bit of rain. Wasn't even enough to fully wet the road. But I was hoping for more because we're in a drought. And today was rather special. You know, over two days ago, we were in the low 80s. Yeah, didn't even make it up. One day, didn't even make it up to 80. The next day, made it up to 83. Then we went up to 91, 92. And then it was 95 yesterday. Today, I can't believe it, it was 98. And they said it felt like 111. And I'm going to tell you what, it surely did. And of course, that's all measured in the shade. And when I'm out watering, I'm in a mixture of shade and bright sunshine. And I'm sure like all of you that are still trying to keep your gardens growing, of course, I've been having a struggling year. I mean, it's so dry right now. And the grass is all turning brown, wilting up. As you can see. Yeah, we went from the dark green color, you know, a month or so ago. To, you know, all the plants are just running out of water. Of course, you'll see some as we drive around that are probably nice, vibrant, and green. You know, those are the more affluent people that can afford to water their lawns. Yeah, with what the city wants for water now, I just got my water bill today and all I could say was whoo yeah <laughs> but it's my hobby it's the only one I have and looking at the water bill and thinking about you know what I've harvested and how bad it's been in all honesty was it worth the cost not for what I've got out of it so far but it's a hobby. And it gets me up, gets me out, gets me moving. You know, keeps me mobile. And that's important, especially when you got health issues. You know, we, it's real easy just to say, screw it and sit around. And look at those gas prices right there. Woo! 287. Yeah, we haven't seen that in quite some time. Oh, we got a food truck over there to the right. We'll just keep on driving by. Yep, we've been pretty much cooking at the house. Yep, not always, but most of the times. Yeah, I've been hankering to get into fall gardening just got that craving that desire and you know something that's coming up next week for those of all you who are wondering and uh, waiting for the next update on how my treatments for my prostate cancer is going well I have my first radiation treatment scheduled for September the 4th that'll start it off then I skip a day 
and I think September the 4th is on a Wednesday that'll be my first one and then I'll go in that Friday for my second one I'll skip the weekend and then I'll go every other day the next week and if all turns out I'll be done of course then I'm sure they're gonna have to run some tests and they're gonna also have to uh, do another MRI and I still have not talked to the doctor about my MRI results and since we're going through with the radiation treatment I would expect there's still a tumor there but they said when they scheduled the radiation appointment that the doctor would go over my MRI results prior to my radiation treatment on September the 4th. So that's the update. So we're heading on still on our journey to the cure for our cancer. And I was wanting to wait later, you know, in the afternoon. Currently it's 5.52, so officially you could say it's evening. Early evening. Thinking the temperature would come down. But when I got done with the water, and even though I knew it hadn't, I checked the temperature. Nope, still 98. But then we got this little brief shower that you can see. Looks like some places got a little bit more. There is some stream and puddling in the streets. But you saw up around my neighborhood, yeah, it wasn't even enough to totally soak the road. <laughs> yeah. You can see all this small town traffic. People got off work, now they're out shopping. That's what Americans do. Oh, yep. Yeah. McDonald's is backed up. I don't know where they're getting the money every day. I can't do it. I bet Jax has got a line too. If I had to guess, you have to look over there real quick as we go past. Oh, yeah. All the way around the restaurant. They do a fine business, and I gotta give Jack's credit. They do a good job. So we're getting close to our first stop up here. Looks like we got something going on in the stadium tonight. I guess there's a ball game. But we're gonna be whipping in here. Of course, we're just looking. We're not buying. Yeah, and there's our other Dollar Tree store. I took you to the new one over in my neighborhood that's not only a Dollar Tree but a family dollar too. This is just a Dollar Tree. So we're going to do a little drive-by. Real slow superfoods. Of course they took all their sales papers down. Because what I'm looking for, and it ain't there, nope, the plant stand is gone. That's not a good sign. So I guess now you may know. I'm out here searching to see if the fall plant starts are out. Because if they're not, I do have some started of my own. But I'll be honest, my seed was old. And of course, hasn't much of it come up and hey there's our new car wash richest car wash yeah if you remember oh what was it? sometime last year when alice wanted to go to the spa we took her to the goo goo not knowing it had shut down yep it's the last one we had we used to have four as you can see up here it's seven gables that's that house to the right what it's called yeah they got the money to water their grass but good for them oh it looks mighty fine compared to mine yep 
And see, that's what freedom is all about. You know, if you got it, and you get to choose what you want to spend it on. I still think if I had it, I'd probably water my gardens more. Of course, I'd probably be having me all that fancy drip irrigation, all that kind of stuff. Water conservation. Yeah. But, probably wouldn't water my lawn. It all depended on how affluent I was. You know, maybe if I was a billionaire. But I still doubt it. But I don't got no hopes or prayers of being such. I don't even think Tractor Supply has theirs out. Maybe they will. Might as well just whip in there. We're just out and about. You never know. There's never many people here. Tractor Supply, you know, such a small town. Every time I go in there, there may be Oh, one or two. Now the farmers come real early. Woo, look at all those expensive zero turns. Five thousand dollars. Oh, Toros for only four thousand. Get your log splitter. Well, oh, they got some succulents out on theirs. No, nope, got some fancy barbecues. And pretty much, nope, no plants. Now I look back at my videos when I planted, the last time I planted in the fall, which was 2022, you know, with plant starts, and it had to be right about this time when I bought it. Because I did a couple videos, you know, episodes of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood where I showed them off. Now, true value up here may have, nope, there ain't nothing outside true value either. Nope. So there's only one more place to go check. Now, like I say, you know, this sort of gives you an idea of what we got. Oh, no, they're getting ready to reopen the huddle house. That's another thing. Our huddle house is getting a full remodel. And there's the old Goo Goo sitting there just rotting in the decay. Well, not much going on at the pizza hut. <laughs> Woo, look at all these brand new vehicles. And what they want for cars these days and trucks. Yeah, no wonder there's a whole bunch of them still sitting there. That's not in my future anytime soon. And of course, all they sell is SUVs, these massive pickup trucks. I'm still thinking that if somebody would start building a little car like Alice, you know, no frills, no thrills, it just gets you from point A to point B. You don't got AC, AM, FM, radio, satellite radio if you want to. Manual seats, roll up windows, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can have a real window debugger. Yeah, and price it reasonably. I think there's there's a crowd out there that would buy them up. So you might have guessed the last place we can go and check to see if there's any plants is Walmart. We're just going to drive over by the plant center and take a look. They got plenty of dirt left. Of course, that's all expensive too. I haven't seen none of that go on sale either. Well, I'm looking in there and pretty much the shelves are bare. 
Yeah, I really need to go into Walmart. But I'm really not dressed for it today. Got the garden stuff on. Yeah, as you can see, nothing but bare shells. No plants yet. Then I'm starting to wonder if there'll be any this year. So I'm going to have to dig through my seed collection. I'm not wanting to grow much. I'd like to grow some more kale, collards, maybe some uh, turnip greens. Greens do good down here in the fall through the winter. They really need to put a light in there. Yeah, people start flying down this road instead of doing the speed limit. It's supposed to be 45 as soon as they get past the dealership. Well, it's game on. They go right at it. But I don't know if the old camera picks up just how brown everything's turned or pale green from the last time we took a ride about and look at those storm clouds up ahead so just maybe if we're good we'll get some more rain out of it of course that's to the south of us so there's no luck there oh they remodeled that old building and that used to be an old car dealership. And when I mean old, I'm talking 30, 40 old. Yeah, down to the south. The sky ain't looking too friendly. Not one bit. You know, plus, after doing all that watering and everything, I was rather moist and rather hot. So nothing like, I mean, that's one thing about Alice. She's got some AC. She will freeze you out. Ain't no doubt about that. But I mean, every once in a while, I like to get and drive up through town just to see what's happening. Because most of the times, I stay over on my side of the river. Yes, I do. But we'll go down the back side. Because I know some of you don't get out much anymore. And some of you can't get out anymore. So you like to take a little ride. Yep. In my videos, I don't try to go for clicks and views. I just do what I want to do, and I do what I want to do for others, too. It was like that there night sound video. I did. I knew when I did that, it wasn't going to make many views. But a couple of people, you know, here recently talked about they having trouble to sleep. Of course, I have trouble, too. And I thought, well, maybe the sounds of nature natural sounds and not some AI generated garbage might put me to sleep and might help a few others too. So basically I did the video for me and some of you and that's okay. Like I said I didn't expect it to make thousands of views. In fact it's made more than I actually thought it would. Yeah, we'll just make a little loop here and go around the back way. Of course, we still got to go across the bridge because there's only one way home. Go up this big hill. Come on, Al. You can do it, baby. You can do it. Can you do it? I know. There's a thousand or two friends and family in here. But you made it up like a champ, old girl. And if you look... 
carefully as we've been riding around, some of the trees are starting to turn. I've noticed that over the last week. And that's highly unusual for us. Now, is that because of the drought? Or like many of the social media weathermen say, we're about to have an early and much colder fall. I guess we just have to wait and see. I don't like to go down the way this highway merges because it's hard to see what's coming. There's a little old house for sale, not very big, in a quiet little neighborhood. I'll have to look that up and see how much it's going for. See, I go that way so I can look left and right. Because this has a real steep merge down here. And you almost got to look straight over your back. And a whole lot of people can hit down here. Because they just look a little. And people come flying around. And of course, smack right into them. And I hope you noticed all the kudzu starting to devour over there. We've talked about that before on the last ride about. And this will take us through Rose Hill Cemetery, right smack dab through the center. So everybody be quiet. No yelling and screaming back there in the back seat and rumble seat. You know, you gotta be respectful. Or at least that's what I was taught. And you can see a lot of piles of of uh, limbs and everything because we did have a as you saw on that one video some strong winds come through what was that last week i think it was Woo! Yeah. that sky looks mean to the south but it looks clear to the north so i don't know I don't know what we'll see for rain this evening, if any at all. Right in here, the pavement's wet, but right there going through Rose Hill, it was bone dry. But these are just those pop-up showers that come because of the heat of the day. Woo, look at that lake down there. It's as still and flat as glass. It looks like a mirror. Simply beautiful as we cross across the clickety clack bridge. My phone keeps doing something, but we're not going to be doing it. I'm not one of those that texts or talks on his phone when I'm driving. I've seen the consequences of that far too many times on the interstate and it's tragic. I've seen several cars and trucks that have slammed right under semi-trucks. Most of them did not survive. As we come up here through Old Town And right by our local Tallahassee police station. Over there across in the corner there, the Tallahassee Grill. And that's been open now a while. Always seems to have some patronage. And I think they finished our downtown remodel. All with new sidewalks, water, sewer, gas, internet. Yeah, it's supposed to increase tourism. But I guess something's got to come in there for tourists to come. <laughs> well, I guess that's why they did it too. 
So, you know, two or three businesses will come. Yeah, we'll see. Woo, it's raining right over there to the right. You can see it falling down. And there's a rainbow. Do you see that rainbow? Right there to the right. Oh, wow. That's telling us something's good to come. Yes, it is. Of course, there's always two, two ways to look at life. For some, they can find every bit of the sad, bad, and dramatic stuff you could ever want. And then you got sort of people that are in between. I mean, I guess you got people like me. We try our very best to find the goodness in between. There's no sense punishing yourself for what you can't control. Nope, I gave up on that about 50 years ago. The way I look at life is if I can control it, and it's directly impacting me, and that's important too, then I'll do all I can. But I don't worry about all this junk going on all over the world. I have no impact. No way I can stop it. Change it. I don't worry about all the people on the internet, social media. I can't do nothing about that. Like I was talking to a friend the other night and I said, you know, all I can affect is my neighborhood and somewhat my little small town. After that, I'm pretty much done. So there you have it. You know, just a little trip around town to see if there were any fall plants out. And I'm starting to get a little worried about it. Maybe there'll be none. But like I said, I do have seed. I've got some new kale seed, some new collard seed. So I'll just get to planting some. Yes, I will. So, we'll be at the house pretty soon. You've all seen it before. So I'll take this time right now to tell y'all, you know, we love you for all you do. We truly do. Spooky, Speedy. Oh, they all. Cleo, well, you know, she's Cleo. <laughs> she expects things. Yes, she does. Now, little Speedy, she loves everybody. The little scary kitty. And, of course, Princess Gracie in the house. Oh, look at the little kids. The little tiny kids. Playing football. They ain't even waist high. Yep. They practice right down here. Every afternoon. And the cars you see around there are the parents. Or grandparents. Watching them as they play along. So yeah, we're rolling in. And we're going to have to get on supper. Tonight's left overnight. You know, Wednesday, hump day. And we got some leftovers, so it'll be all right. And remember, don't forget about Heathcliff. He still comes in the late night. And Dusty always stops by. And I think we might even have another one too. So there we go. Well, y'all, unbuckle. Get on out. Hey, I think I got some sweet tea and maybe a few chips. Huh, there's always some crackers inside. Oh, well, there you are, friend and family. As you can see, the ride's over. And we got to get out. We got things to do this evening. And I don't want to thank y'all for coming along and riding along. It wasn't much, but it gave me a chance to talk to y'all. And if you want to chime in with your thoughts too, by all means do. So, yeah, until I, you know them all, the kitty crew, 
for instance, the house Gracie and my Midnight Marauders, Heathcliff. Oh, we have Fluffy Muffin and Dusty, too. See y'all on that next episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood. Yep, y'all take care out there. Stay safe, stay well and happy as you can. And remember, we love you for all that you do. Until we see you again, may God bless you as you bless those in your lives. Goodbye for now.